This is probably one of the hardest um, radical equations to solve because you have two radical expressions in it. Um, but what we want to do is get, get it so there's just one radical on each side. So I'm going to go ahead and add um, the square root of negative 16x plus 48 to both sides. And let me see here. Make it a little bit bigger. So what we have is the square root of <clears throat> negative 8x plus 73 is equal to 1 plus the square root of negative 16x plus 48. To get rid of square roots, we square both sides. Now on the left side, it's no problem. <clears throat> the square of a square root is just whatever is inside of it. So this is just going to be minus 8x plus 7, 73. However, the right side needs to be foiled. So because we're going to get 2, we're going to get 1 plus negative square negative 16x or 1 plus the square root of negative 16x plus 48 times 1 plus the square root of negative 16x plus 48. So this is probably the trickiest part of all. <clears throat> all right, so the negative 8x plus 73 is just going to come down. And here we foil, so 1 times 1, just 1. Uh, 1 times the square root of negative 16x plus 48 is just going to be itself. And then the inside is the same thing. It's 1 times the square root of negative 16x plus 48. So we get another one. And then the square root of negative 16x plus 48 times itself is you, what, what's going to happen is you get that expression squared, but then you have the square root canceling it out. So that last term is just going to be minus 16x plus 48. All right, since we have um, the same, we have like like terms here in the middle, and we have two of them, so it's like you can imagine a one in front, and one plus one is two, so we get two times the square root of negative 16x plus 48. All right, minus 16x plus 48, and then that one on the outside there. At this point, uh, we're ready to, oh, let me give us some more space here. Um, we're going to get ready to square both sides again because we still have a square root. But before we do that, we want to um, get all the like terms together. So for instance, we have 1 and 48. Um, that comes together as 49. And then the minus 16x doesn't have anybody to go with, so it's just going to be out there. So we want to add the 16x to both sides. And we're going to subtract the 49. And when we do those steps, we're going to get a positive 8x plus 73 minus 49, which is 24 is equal to 2 times the square root of negative 16x plus 48. All right, we still um, probably want to get rid of this 2, so we're going to divide both sides by 2. And what we're left with 
is 4x plus 24, no, plus 12. Got to divide both sides, okay? Equal to the square root of negative 16x plus 48. All right, now we're ready to square both sides once again for the last time. So we're going to get 4x plus 12 squared equals, now when I square the right side, I'm just, the square and the square root cancel each other out. Let me rewrite that last part because I started running out of room. Okay. Um, we need to foil the left side, but that's a little easier this time than it was the last time. And we get 16x squared plus, well, I get a 4x plus 12, or 4x times 12, and a 4x times 12, so that's 48x plus 48x. Um, that's going to equal to... 96x. And then 12 squared is 144. And I ran out of room, but it equals negative 16x plus 48. Alright, let's grab another page here. So what we have right now is 16x squared plus 96x. Plus 144 equals negative 16x plus 48. We, we have a quadratic here, so we want one side to equal 0. So I'm going to add 16x to both sides. And I'm going to subtract 48 from both sides to make that happen. So I guess 16x squared plus 112x plus 96 equals 0. Uh, luckily, 112 and 96 are both divisible by 16, so we can divide both sides every term by 16 and get x squared plus 7x plus 6 is equal to 0. That's something that we can easily factor. Factors into x plus 6 and x plus 1 given us the solutions of x equals negative 6 or x equals negative 1. Now you need to plug both of those in to the original equation because chances are one of them or even it's possible even both of them, neither one of them will work. Um, but it's also possible that they both work. So you have to check both answers. when you're dealing with radicals because sometimes they don't work.